This is MathGuide.com, and my name is Mark Karadimos. In this video, we're going to talk about counting problems, and as they apply to specifically ticket problems. In our first section, we're going to review the two formulas we'll be using. In our next section, we're going to talk about problem one, then in our next section after that, problem two, and then finally the next section and last section will be problem three. All right, let's get started. All right, in our first section, we're gonna talk about some formulas. And you can see I've got two formulas printed up here. And uh, the top formula is called the combination formula. The bottom formula is called the permutation formula. Okay, they're kind of important for counting problems. Uh, and they're, that's why they need to be uh, discussed. Now, I'm going to be using the built-in calculator functions that handle the actual calculation using these functions. But on the mathguide.com website, um, I'll leave a link within the body of the, uh, the, the video. Uh, after this video, you could find the link. But on the website, you'll uh, see an explanation of how exactly the calculations work. And those little exclamation points are called factorials. And that, those factorials will be explained there also. Uh, okay, so the purpose of this video is to uh, show you how to set up the problem and how to use the calculator that have these built-in functions in there. Okay, part of knowing which function to use depends on the problem. So you use the C1, the, the, the combination formula, the top formula, that is, when order does not matter. Okay, that'll be explained further in the problems that follow. And then you use the formula with the P called the permutations when order does matter. Okay, so in our videos on counting, that will be crucial in determining which formula to use, order mattering or order not mattering. All right, well, let's check out our three examples, and let's put them to use. All right, here's our uh, first problem. We're going to talk about a raffle. So let's say that a certain church function offers a raffle, and they have... 200 raffles that they sell. Um, so if the prize is that they're going to raffle off four $30 checks, how many ways can the prizes be won? Okay, so we're kind of curious. How many ways can the those prizes be distributed to people? Okay, well, you have to look at this problem and determine does order matter or does order not matter? Uh, okay, so the first thing you think of is that there are $30 checks, and there's four of them. Now, when you pull the first raffle, and you pull that first, I imagine there's 200 of these raffles floating around in a bin somewhere. You reach your hand in, you pull out one, and you go, hey, we've got a winner. You'd say, does it matter? Does the prize matter? based on you being the first person chosen or the second or the third or fourth. And you say, no, it doesn't matter. Each of the prizes is a $30 check. So whether you're the first person being called for the win or the second or the third or the fourth, each of those prizes are identical. So it doesn't matter in what order the raffles are pulled from the bin. So this particular problem is pretty easy to see that we are going to use the combinations formula, and I'm going to say there are 200 tickets, and we're going to choose four of them. Yep, 200, uh, 200 tickets, we're going to choose four from the bin, and this is how many ways people could win. And you'll notice that the $30 has nothing to do with this, whether they were $20 checks or $30 or $35.17 checks, it doesn't matter. All we have to do now is plug this into a calculator, which I'm going to do right now. So for this particular calculator, I go under Menu. Uh, it's under Probability, and it's Combinations. Okay, the formula requires two numbers. So if you remember, 
we hit 200 and then I have to hit a comma our commas right down here and hit 4 and you press enter and there's your answer so I'm going to write the answer here so it's 64 684 950 so believe it or not there's almost 65 million ways to distribute those checks so 64 million 685 84 thousand 950 okay let's go on to our next problem all right let's take a look at a second problem uh, for this particular problem we got 300 tickets are being sold at a political fundraiser uh, and the prizes are ten dollars twenty dollars thirty dollars and fifty dollars okay how many ways can the prizes be distributed all right so again you picture that there's 300 tickets being sold and they take these tickets that are sold and they put them in a bin scramble them up and they start pulling tickets obviously they're going to pull full four tickets there's four prizes to give so you ask yourself does it matter if you're the first ticket and you get the ten dollar prize or is it if you are the fourth ticket and it's you 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 earn the fifty dollar prize and of course you say yes these prizes do matter because the order in which you pick the winner determines the prize so the order matters for these problems you want you want to win but if you're going to win it would be nice to get that fifty dollar prize so you hope that you're the fourth ticket that's pulled so since order does matter that tells us we're going to use permutations so what I'm going to do is of course set this up with the P function the permutation function and let's see I've got 300 total tickets how many are we going to choose we're going to choose four so we're going to take 300 and we're going to take four and permutate that and figure out how many that's going to be total now of course I'm going to throw this into a calculator I'm not going to calculate this by hand okay for this calculator I go to menu I hit probability I want permutations and I'm going to go 300 hit the comma 4 I'm going to press uh, enter and it gives me this ridiculously large number alright so writing that number that we just saw I'm going to write down the number here and this is what the calculator pulled up which is a horribly large number and you never think there'd be this many possible ways of pulling tickets but there are so this is almost 8 billion that's 7 billion 938 million 988 thousand 200 ways of distributing the prizes let's go on to problem three all right so here we have our third problem now for this problem we have a lottery game uh, there are different types of lotteries different states have different types of lotteries uh, sometimes we even have regional lotteries so for this particular lottery that I made up there are 40 balls that are floating around in this bin and the balls are numbered 1 through 50 no repeats obviously so it's just 1 through 50 50 balls each ball's got a different number so for this particular lottery game we're going to pull six balls at random so what we want to do is figure out how many different ways can they be pulled from the bin okay so we've got these balls we've got them floating around there so we want to figure out how many can we pull now now you got to think is this a game where order matters or order doesn't matter so if you think if you pull out a ball and then you pull out the second ball does it matter in which order you pull those balls and it turns out no because when the lottery pulls the balls from the bin and, and they show them on the screen they then just put them in order usually from smallest to largest and, and, and the order of which they come out of the bin doesn't matter all you care is if you pick the numbers that are pulled from the bin it doesn't matter what order they're pulled from the bin 
just as matters if you match those numbers that are pulled from the bin. So note, order does not matter. That's not how these lottery games work with tickets. Okay, so what do we have? Since order does not matter, we have combinations. Okay, how many do we have to start with? We start with 50. And how many are we going to pull? We're going to pull 6. Okay, so let's calculate that. All right, so I'm going to grab the menu button here. I'm going to hit probability. I'm going to go down to combinations. There's 50 balls, put a comma, and six are going to come out of the bin. You press enter, and this is how many there are. All right, so we could see that what just came out of that calculator was one five eight nine zero seven hundred and I'm already starting to put commas in there so there's fifteen million eight hundred ninety thousand seven hundred different combinations for the game and that's if you were to figure out how many uh, possible ways there are to choose these six balls there's that many so in other words if you wanted to make sure that you had all of the numbers covered you'd have to print this many tickets. So that's close to 16 million tickets. So if you wanted to make sure you were going to win this lottery, you'd have to buy almost 16 million tickets to cover all your bases. All right, that was MathGuide.com bringing to you counting problems. So if you could go back to MathGuide.com, check out our interactive quizzes, our text-based lessons, and other instructional videos. Take care.